Hi, this is Vikas from MATLAB Helper. In this video, we are gonna learn what a BLDC or a brushless DC motor is and how to design its controller using Simulink. Let's get started. If you are watching our video but have not subscribed to our channel, please do it now and support us. Everyday devices to the more complex machines make use of brushless DC motors that converts electrical energy into rotational mechanical energy. Brushless DC motors also referred as BLDCs has many advantages over brushed DC motors. BLDC motors require less maintenance and provide higher efficiency. That's why these motors replaced brushed DC motors in many applications. BLDC motor operates on the same principle of brushed motors in which rotational motion is generated through the attraction and repulsion of the magnetic poles of permanent and electromagnets. The way these motors are controlled is very different. These motors require a complex controller to convert a DC power to the three phase voltages. To better understand this, let's look at the BLDC motor structure. Here the rotor is a permanent magnet and stator is a coil winding. There are various BLDC motors with different magnet arrangements where the stator may have different number of windings and the rotor may have multiple pole pairs. A permanent magnet AC motor which has a trapezoidal back EMF is referred as BLDC motor. The BLDC motor drive system is based on the feedback of the rotor system at fixed points for communication of the phase currents. The BLDC motor requires quasi-rectangular shaped currents fed into state of windings of the machine. Alternatively, the voltage may be applied to the motor every 120 degree with current limit to hold the current within motor capabilities. Because the phase currents are excited in synchronism with constant part of the back EMF, constant torque is generated. The electromagnetic torque developed by the BLDC motor is a function of permanent magnet flux and current. Back EMF in each phase are trapezoidal in shape and 120 degrees displaced electrically with respect to each other. A rectangular current pulse is injected into each phase such a way the pulse current coincides with the flat portion of the back EMF waveform and hence the motor develops almost constant torque. The following diagram is the functional block diagram of the BLDC motor controller. Switching logic block takes three Hall sensor digital signals from the motor as input and develops six device driving signals of the three phase inverter supplying the BLDC motor. Now let's go to Simulink and view the functioning of this controller. Before starting designing BLDC controller in Simulink, make sure that the Simscape and Simscape electrical add-ons are installed properly. Now let's go through each and every block of this controller. As you can see here, this is the permanent magnet synchronous machine. Double click on this block to open its parameters dialog box. In this dialog box, select the back EMF waveform as trapezoidal. As we discussed earlier, a permanent magnet synchronous machine with a trapezoidal back EMF is called BLDC. Select the number of phases as 3 and click the app changes apply and then click OK. To view the output of this block, you need to select a bus selector. Double click on this block. As you can see here, these are the available parameters that the block can give as output. Select the parameter that you need to view it as an output and click this option. As we don't need this parameter, we'll be removing this. These are the selected parameters. Rotor speed is the output of the motor and these three are the Hall effect sensor outputs and these three are the e uh, back EMF generated by the motor. Click the changes apply and then select OK. These are the scopes to view the output. This is the switching logic block that takes the three Hall sensor digital signals from the motor as input and generates the three logic signals for the PWM drive circuit. 
This PWM drive circuit develops six device driving signals of the three phase inverter supplying the BLDC motor. This is the PID block that generates the signal according to the error signal and this is the block that calculates the error. This block takes the feedback of the rotor speed from here. And this is the set required set value. Now let's run this model and verify the outputs. Let's first verify the back EMF generated by the motor. Double click on the scope. These are the back EMF signals generated by the motor. Zoom in to view the trapezoidal signals. As you guys can see, these are the trapezoidal back EMF generated by the each stator. This is the phase A, phase B and phase C. Now let's verify the speed. Double click on the scope one. As you guys can see, the speed of the motor is gradually achieved to the set value, which is 100 radians per second. Zoom in to view the signal properly. These are the three Hall sensor digital signals. And this is the speed of the motor, which is equals to the set value thank you for watching this video do like this video if you found it helpful if you have any queries post them in the comment section or get in touch with us follow us on linkedin facebook and subscribe to our youtube channel education is our future matlab is our feature happy matlabbing